Can an inequality have more than one solution? X is greater than 9 or square is less than or equal to 10. Is there more than one number that can be a solution for X is greater than 9 or is there more than one solution that can solve for square when square is less than or equal to 10? In this lesson you will learn that an inequality has more than one solution by using a number line. Let's review. An inequality compares two values that are not equal. The following symbols represent inequalities less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal. Now, inequalities are questions you ask yourself. Looking at the inequality, x is less than or equal to 15, I just think to myself, what numbers are less than or equal to 15? Let's look at a real world problem. Mrs. Robinson's class must raise at least $80 to go on the field trip. M is greater than or equal to $80. Which of the following solution or solutions can represent the amount of money needed for Mrs. Robinson's class to go on the field trip? $80, $77, $74, or $86? Now looking at that inequality, M is greater than or equal to $80, I think what solution or solutions are greater than or equal to $80? I will use substitution to find out what M is, substituting one solution from these possible solutions at a time. So M is greater than or equal to $80. I again ask myself that question. What could M or the variable be to make it equal or greater than $80? Notice that I asked that question because I want to know what the M or the variable will be. So again, which of the following solution or solutions can represent the amount of money needed for Mrs. Robinson's class to go on the field trip? $80, $77, $74, or $86? Using a number line, I will compare whether the possible solutions are equal to or greater than $80. I want to make sure that the solutions land right on 80 or are to the right on my number line because all the number lines to the right have a great greater value than $80. But if they land on the left side of 80, they have a lesser value and would not make my inequality true. So I will now use substitution with my first possible solution of $80. Will $80 make the inequality true? Is $80 greater than or equal to $80? As you see, the dot appeared right on 80. So this $80 is equal to $80. So this does make the inequality true because it is greater than or equal to. In this case, it is equal to. Now I will look at my possible solution of $77. Will, is $77 greater than or equal to $80? As you see, the dot appear to the left uh, on my number line. So this makes it a lesser value. So this cannot be a possible solution. Now I will look at my next possible solution of $74. Is $74 greater than or equal to $80? As the dot appears, you can see it landed to the left again on my number line, which makes it a lesser value. So this does not make the inequality true. So it cannot be a possible solution. So now let's look at my last possible solution of $86. As I place the dot on the number line, I notice it is to the right on my number line. So therefore, it has a greater value than $80. So $86 is greater than or equal to $80. So this is a possible solution. Remember, an inequality has more than one solution. In this case, it had two possible solutions out of all of my possible solutions. Let's look at a common misunderstanding. We know that $77 and $74 are not possible solutions to this inequality of M is greater than or equal to $80. But $80 and $86 are possible solutions. However, a common misunderstanding is when looking at the possible solutions, students think that these numbers are limited to it. Correct answers are not limited to the solutions given. Any number $80 or higher could be correct. Inequalities aren't limited to whole numbers either. They include all rational numbers. 
These numbers can include whole numbers as well as decimals or even fractions. Looking at these possible solutions, $80.55, $98.95, $100, or $99.65, they are also possible solutions and there could be more as long as they are greater than $80. In this lesson, you have learned that an inequality has more than one solution by using a number line.